Hey what's up guys 2020 is just getting started and so is Samsung. They have just announced their Galaxy S20 series of smartphones and we are really excited to share the details with you. First thing first, this year Samsung isn't just releasing one or even two variants of their flagship Galaxy S smartphones. Instead, they are releasing three different models, the Galaxy S20, the Galaxy S20 Plus and the entire new Galaxy S20 Ultra. All three S20 models, yes, even the entry-level S20, are massive improvements over the last Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus. But in this video, we are only going to focus on the Galaxy S20 and S20 Plus. We'll talk about the S20 Ultra in a separate video. So subscribe to our channel right now so you don't miss it. First, let's start by looking at the features Samsung has repeatedly highlighted in the S20 series of smartphones, the camera. Today, flagship smartphone wars are all about the camera. Samsung's approach in this regard is a bit different from the rest. While Google and Apple are improving their camera through software, Samsung has taken a different route. Samsung has chosen the strong arm. The Galaxy S20, with the most amount of pixel it can, both the S20 and S20 Plus have a 64 megapixel primary lens that is capable of 30x zoom. In addition to the primary lens, there's also two other lenses, a 12 megapixel telephoto lens and a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens. Also a notable difference between the S20 and S20 Plus is that the S20 Plus has a depth sensor, the S20 on the other hand does not. This means if you want to take DSLR like portrait shots, you will have to pay an extra $100 as only the S20 Plus has this functionality. Big change in the selfie camera. In the Galaxy S20, Samsung has moved the front-facing camera on the dead center of the screen, like it did in the Note 10. And it has also detached the pill-shaped dual selfie camera of the S10 Plus entirely on the S20 Plus. Both the S20 and S20 Plus comes with the same single 10 megapixel front-facing camera. Samsung displays are among the best in the world, and the S20 and S20 Plus are no different. Both sport a Quad HD AMOLED display, just like last year's Galaxy S10. But there's one major difference in this year's models. The Galaxy S20 and S20 Plus displays have a variable refresh rate of 120Hz. This makes the display more responsive than ever. As a result, you can expect the animation on the S20 to be buttery smooth and the phone will feel faster than ever. There's also a tiny change in the Galaxy S20's display. The curves at the edge of the screen are now less prominent, meaning the overall display has a flatter look. While this flatter look might not look as cool, it has significant advantage. For one, screen protectors will fit much better on the S20 than the previous Galaxy S phones. Also, no accidental side touches. And as for the 120Hz display, there's just one thing you should keep in mind. It won't be turned on by default. Instead, when you will open the Galaxy S20 for the first time, your screen will operate at 60Hz. You will have to go to the setting and enable the 120Hz refresh rate. However, once you do, so say bye-bye to the Quad HD resolution. The S20, unfortunately, can do 120Hz at 1080p resolution only. Inside the phone, the S20 and S20 Plus are running Samsung Custom Skin One UI 2.0. While we are not fan of the manufacturer's skin, Samsung One UI doesn't bother us that much. The design looks good, it's fast and it's featured packed with gimmicks that Samsung is famous for. Good news, bigger battery. The battery on both the Samsung Galaxy S20 and S20 Plus are big upgrades. The S20 comes with 4000 mAh battery compared to the S10's last year 3400mAh and the S20 Plus comes with a 4500mAh battery compared to the S10 Plus 4100mAh battery. The bigger battery of course means that the phone will run for a longer period of time, maybe even more than a day. And since the 120Hz display will require more juice to run, a bigger battery is a welcome change. Some things to keep in mind. This year's Galaxy S20 comes with some welcoming features some which have carried on from the previous generations and some which are totally new. Except for the one change. Say goodbye to the headphone jack. Like from the Note 10, Samsung has removed it from the S20 and S20 Plus as well. We can't say this was unexpected. However, steadily, each major phone manufacturing is following in Apple's footsteps. The S20 and S20 Plus are the latest victims. But other than this, there is hardly anything to complain about the Galaxy S20 and S20 Plus. If we talk about the chipset, 
S20 has a Snapdragon 865 and S20 Plus also has a Snapdragon 865. The display of S20 is 6.2 inches and 1440x3200 Quad HD display resolution. The S20 Plus has a 6.7 1440x3200 Quad HD display settings. Looking onto the battery size, the S20 consists of a 4000 mAh battery while the S20 Plus has a 4500 mAh battery. The storage capacity is 128 GB plus micro SD supported. Both the phone consists the same and both the phone are punched with 8 GB RAM. As you can see, the S20 and S20 Plus are beast when it comes to the spec. They have top of the line processor, more RAM than my PC, plenty of storage and even micro SD card support. The screens as usual are also a bit brighter than last year S10 and S10 Plus. And both the S20 and S20 Plus have identical specs, except for the display and battery. But these are the big changes, the S20 and S20 Plus also come with the major improvement in other area as well. Take file storage as an example, this year S20 and S20 Plus are equipped with the universal file storage UFS 3.0. This gives the S20 SSD like speed when it comes to reading and writing data. The fast charging capability has also been improved. The S10 and S10 Plus had 15 watt fast charging while the S20 and S20 Plus have 25 watt fast charging which means the S20 will charge significantly faster. One welcome change in the S20 is, is that the complete removal of the Bixby button which was used by precisely zero people. Especially if you consider the fact that this button wasn't programmable. It could only open Bixby and therefore it sucked. Now, all the things you liked in the Galaxy S series are still here in the S20 and S20 Plus, except the headphone jack. Some things which haven't changed are the inbuilt ultrasonic fingerprint sensor, NFC, wireless charging, IP68 rating. The tech ribbon worded, let's see. Overall, the Galaxy S20 and S20 Plus improves upon their predecessor in every possible way. The specs are better, the battery is better, the camera are better. Most importantly, the Bixby button gone. But on the other hand, so is the headphone jack. Well, you win some, you lose some. Overall, the only thing that's worrying is the price. Unlike last year, Samsung hasn't released a lowered price S20 model like it did with the Samsung S10e last year. Instead, Samsung has decided to go even more premium with S20 Ultra. We'll talk in more detail in the next video about that. For now, 2020 is shaping up to be another exciting year of smartphone competition in general. We are looking forward to reviewing both the S20s and the Ultra as well when they launch in March. So we'll say goodbye for now and don't forget to keep an eye for the S20 Ultra video. It's coming sooner than you think. And if you like what you see, make sure to subscribe to our channel and give a like to this video. That is it from our site, see you in the next video, bye bye.